Hello everybody, my name is Anthony Gattel, and I should have made this er video earlier, but today I would like to say a few words about the man who has created music since we were younger, and the man's name is Chester Bennington, who, if you don't really f are familiar with it, but if it sounds familiar to you, that he's a singer of a Lincoln Park. If you guys and girls did not know that, um, because my channel is mostly about Michael Jackson, the Beatles, and you know, stuff like that, but... Off camera, I listen to other artists. I listen to Lincoln Park, and uh, I'm very familiar with other, you know, musicians like Paramore and you know, uh, My Chemical Romance. I, you know, rock and roll's uh, rock is one uh, rock genre is one of um, the music that I listen to, and yeah, today's uh, uh, this video is going to be um, a happy birthday celebration to Chester Bennington. Who sadly passed away two years ago at the age of 41, but due to suicide by hanging. Which let me let me tell you guys and girls to um, let me tell you this that um, suicide is never the answer when how you die from. It's never the answer. It's not funny because it's it's messed up for what that person has done. I mean, I've listened to Linkin Park's um, music. Like I listened to their albums, Hyper Theory and Meteora album. And I listened to both of them, and they're one of my favorite albums I've ever heard from them. Like you have no idea how much I love them, because they're they're pretty much one of my um, one of my um, one of my memories, or how you say it? one of one of my memories when I was young. Cause like when I was young and when their musics were everywhere back then, I loved their musics. I I always wanted to play their musics every single day, and I loved them. They never stopped amusing me, pretty much. But um, so this um uh, this video is just about um. Um, a birthday celebration to Chester Bennington, which, if you if his birth if his birthday uh, if he was still alive, he would have been forty three years old, which is a, still a young age. A young age. Think about it. He was younger than other, all the other artists out there. Like he was younger than Michael Jackson, Prince, like so many talented pe uh, talented celebrities, and he died from a really young age. I gotta say, like, and it hurts me because Chester is one of my. Um, uh, one of my uh, musicians that I've been growing up on, besides Michael Jackson, the Beatles, uh, the besides Michael Jackson or the Beatles, but Linkin Park is one of my biggest inspirations since I've been get, growing up and been been involved with rock genre, and that's why I, I still listen to rock music more often these days, cause mostly cause they're part of my childhood. I listen, I not only I listen to Linkin Park, I listen to System Up and Down, and pretty much other rock, um, basically genre um, musicians so far I listen to. I mean. I haven't been listening to those, uh, like, I mean, I listen to Linkin Park every single day because they're, they're pretty much what I grew up with most often than other musicians, besides Michael Jackson or the Beatles or, you know, something like that. You know what I mean? You know what I'm getting the point there? But, um, yeah, but, um, um, yeah. If you had to, like, ask me what is my number one favorite album, I would have to say, I mean, it's hard for me to choose because I love both of the albums, Hybrid Theory and Meteora. And to be fair, Hy uh, Meteora... It's one of the album, uh, the the first or the actually that album is actually that ad, that album is actually one of my favorites. It's actually close to my number one because no, not because of that that Nub song, which I love that song. I love all the songs on the Meteora album and Hybrid Theory album, and the Meteora is so far about to get close to my number one favorite album from them because most of their songs are stuck in my head and I can't stop listening to them because they're so catchy and they're timeless and awesome at the same time because like the songs that are just stuck in my head right now it's just like somewhere i belong and don't stay like so many songs that are stuck in my head like i can't stop listening to or even thinking about them too the hybrid theory is like the hybrid theory when i listen to the songs on that album they're really catchy and they're really good it could get take some time for some people who listen to hybrid theory it could take some time to love it a lot because me it took some time to listen it took me times to um, like it a lot more because back then, back then while I was starting to listen to the whole entire songs on that on that Hybrid Theory album, and I loved it a lot. And yeah, most see, uh, Linkin Park is one of my biggest inspirations in, um, when when I was growing up, and and most mostly because uh, my older brother and I hope he's watching this, but um, my older brother he plays a lot of rock music, and that's pretty much how I got into rock. Is mostly because of my older brother. He plays System of a Down. He plays Linkin Park. He play he plays so many rock genres, and I love him. And I and I fell in love with rock mu uh, rock uh, genres since I was a young age. 
And believe it or not, when I was young, rock genre was one of my things to listen to. Because cause rock genre, I was listening to Linkin Park, System Above and Down, and other artists that I loved. Because Michael Jackson was one of the musicians that I grew up with too when I was a kid. Or when I was young, sorry, I keep messing up. So this is just a um, a video just to tribute to just not only to tribute to Chester uh, to Chester but to celebrate a happy birthday to Chester, since he is gone. But oh yeah, he um he actually um so the cause of death was actually a suicide by hanging. You know, because it's it's um I wonder did Robin Williams I think Robin Williams did had a cause of death was it the was it the hanging I think that's what it was I don't remember. Sorry for um bringing this up, but cause like there's other um there's other um celebrities that that I think they have the same death as I believe I don't know I'm gonna I don't know but the bottom line what I'm trying to say is that I'm gonna miss you Chester Bennington so much we're we're all gonna miss you and we're always gonna listen to your music uh, for the future your music's are always going to continue on and your legacies are gonna continue on in the future while everybody's gonna keep listening to your music cause they're they're timeless and they're fun to listen to, and especially when you're growing up at that, at the young age like me, because like I know many people out there, I know many small uh, small children out there were born like around like in the two thousands and the two thousand tens generation, you know stuff like that, um, or or even the nineties were, or even the nineties were actually they listened to Linkin Park and they still listen to them a lot more, because because I feel like. Kids these days, like in the 2010, uh, like you know, 10 2010 generation, you know, something like that. What I'm trying to say, but kids who are born in 2010s, go ahead and check out because I know this is just a message for kids who grew up in 2010s, you know, 2011, 10, or 12, something like that. You know what I mean? But, but um, here's a secret. Um, here's our here's a message to you, kids out there who are born in 2010s that um. I um go ahead and check out if you have not heard the band Lincoln Park. Go ahead and check them out. They're fun to listen to, and they can the songs are gonna uh, are catchy to listen to if you're into rock genres. Because if you're not into rock, then you can you can go ahead and check out other music. It's, I'm just I'm not saying you have to, or I'm not forcing you to check their uh, their music out. I'm just I'm just telling you guys and girls that um that you can you can go ahead and check out Linkin Park's music uh, music's and their albums. You can start off with Hybrid there. You can start with any albums you can start with. As long as you listen to the same band, you know what I mean? But uh, that that's besides the point. But the point um like here's the question guys it goes if you were born like when you were like at the same age as me cuz we were we were born like in the 90s or the 2000s stuff like that. But guys it goes let me let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite what is your number one favorite album from Linkin Park or what is your top favorites songs from Linkin Park from that album or better question is what is your top favorite albums like what what do you have to rank least to favorite because I don't know if I should do that because it's kind of hard to do it because I, I like I mean to be fair the only albums I know from Linkin Park was from Hybrid Theory and Meteora so far those are the albums I know so far. And I'm gonna check out their um their newer uh, albums. And don't get me wrong, their newer ones are okay. It's just I don't I prefer the you know the older you know Meteora and Hybrid Theory era. You know what I mean? But I prefer them because I listen to their new musics and I you know before Chester died. But I listen to their newer ones and I feel like I will rather um, go with um, Meteora era or Hybrid Theory because those are the musics that pretty much what was what went. Is what I grew up from, because our new ones are pretty good, or and they're pretty okay for me personally. Because I guess because I I grew up with um, Hyper Theory and Meteora, you know the album with the songs that I grew up with. But um, yeah, if you guys and girls do not know me, that um, not only I'm a Michael Jackson or the Beatles or a gaming person, I also listen to Linkin Park, you know. A different artists in general, like you know, other artists like My Chemical Romance, and I know, I've, and I, I, I'm, I'm very familiar with Paramore. I remember, I, I know her music, because I know many people out there don't know this, but um, the reason why I know so many rock genres is because of my cousin, my cousin, um, because I know he's probably watching this, just to, um, because my cousin's probably watching this video, but um. I've been getting into a rock. I've been getting into a rock. Is you know what? Actually, to tell you guys the truth, that when I when I've been listening to the Beatles music, because I know they're just rock bands, but think about it. When I when I was listening to their music so much, I like I listened to their music so much that I've been getting into into rock, like you know the genre to the music. Since when I first listened to the Beatles, 
is so catchy and they're fun and they're a rock band, which it made me got interested to rock musicians. Besides Michael Jackson, that got me into you know pop stuff like that. You know what I mean? I mean, like I say, I love Michael Jackson and Paul Paul McCartney. See, I I love the artists that I love. You know, Michael Jackson, Elvis Presley, and the Beatles, and you know, Lincoln Park, of course, stuff like that. But but this <laughs> okay, I don't know what I was trying to say. But if you, anyway, if you guys can go to enjoy the video, and if you guys enjoy my um, happy birthday celebration, and not only that, but to tribute, tribute to Chester Bennington, which is no longer here. But he is with us in our hearts. Remember that, guys and girls. He's always going to be in your hearts, no matter what. But, um... If you guys and girls enjoyed my birthday celebration and the video, like, comment, subscribe, um, share this video with your friends and family, and let me know in the comments down below what is, what is your top favorite album from Linkin Park. And if you if you say, like, Meteora or Hyper Theory albums, tell me what's your top favorite songs from them. And I'm not... Because I'm not gonna judge you for what you're gonna say. Cause like, I love all I love I love pretty much all the songs from the Hybrid Theory and Meteora. Cause they're pretty much are perfect the way they are. They're, Cause I'm not gonna judge you if you say that. Cause I'm cause like like I say we're all different human beings. We got different uh, opinions about you know songs that let's say for example like we love um, Hybrid Theory more than Meteora. Like don't be uh, don't like bully him just for what he think just for what he says. We're all different human beings. But um, like I say, if you love Hyper Theory more than Meteora, go ahead and go ahead and speak them up in the comments down below so that I can see them in the comments down below. What is your favorite um, top favorite albums, Meteora or Hyper Theory? And if you say Meteora, then you can go ahead and tell me what's your favorite songs on there. Or if you say Hyper Theory, go ahead and select the songs from that album. Or you can say both. You can say both. It's just your personal opinion. Like, what is your top favorite albums? You know, what's your favorite albums from Linkin Park? Me, personally, it's Meteora and Hyper Theory albums. Pretty much both of them are timeless. And I was actually planning on buying the CDs for the Hyper Theory. You know what? I'm actually want to start buying the Hyper Theory album first, actually. Because I wanted to start off with the songs that I actually grew up with a little more than the Meteora. I grew up with Meteora, some of the songs. I grew up with Hyper Theory a little more. But the bottom line is... That I'm gonna buy Hybrid Theory first, just to you know start off with something you know the albums that they came out a little you know earlier than Meteora because Meteora was everybody's pretty much everybody's you know favorite album from them. But um, I'm gonna get Hybrid Theory album first, and then I'll get Meteora album next. But um, yeah, um, my social media are in the description if you guys want to and guys and girls want to check out my um you know I've been active there a a long a while now and that's why I've been a little oh, I can't believe I just spit but yeah I've been mainly active on face you know like uh, my social media are I'm pretty much act um pretty much I'm active there that's why I haven't been making videos lately and not only that because I've been busy and it today's I mean, it is spring break. I mean, it is spring break. Spring break. And and I'm already about to be, um, you know, done with all this, you know, craziness, you know, school, stuff like that. But I'm already about to graduate, so. Because, like, in the summertime, I'm going to start making more videos more often. So, sorry. so, guys and girls, when I'm gone on YouTube, don't forget to go on the, um, social media so you can, so you can um, check there every single day. So that you don't have to, you know, wait for my YouTube videos to be uploaded. Because I've been busy a while. So, I'm sorry I haven't been active a lot. Because the last video I made was, you know, dedicated to George Harrison. The last video I did. It was like, I think it was last month ago. But, yeah. Anyway. Let me know in the comments down below. What is your favorite moments from Chester? And let me know. Uh, let me know. What's your favorite album from the Lincoln Park? Hi, like, let me know what's your favorite album. And what is your... Favorite songs from that album? Just let me know, and so we can like you know have you know have a conversation, like at least your personal opinion about what's your favorite you know song or an album, or even moments from Chester Bennington, you know, because today's his birthday, so we can just you know do a little tribute. Because I'm on on off camera, I've been listening, I listened to the whole entire album from Hybrid Theory, and I was actually doing that. I'm gonna do that for Meteora. So off camera, I'm gonna listen to more of the Lincoln Park musics. Music is just a tribute to him, you know, stuff like that. But um, as always, I will see you in the next video. And as and and by the way, change the world, change the world. And also, I was actually wanted to plan on doing the outro for now on, 
instead of saying change the world, uh, change the world for the outro, I'm actually gonna, I actually create like a little bit of a met, uh, I'm actually gonna create like an outro, not only I'm gonna say like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I was actually planning on uh, uh, creating like an outro, like, I'm just gonna say like, peace and love, peace and love to, ch or I was gonna say change the world and peace and love. I'm gonna say that for now on, for the outro, so I'm gonna, so I'm gonna be like, change the world and peace and love. Peace, or, you know, I'm gonna say, change the world, peace and love. You know, change the world, peace and love. Okay. But anyway, I will see you in the next video. And by the way, change the world. Peace and love.